Another week gone by in College Station, and the Aggies remain unbeaten. But Arkansas awaits in Arlington on Saturday. Continuing their defensive dominance is key for A&M. A major part of it, Miles Garrett and Deshaun Hall the two freakish athletes at defensive end. And they weren't typical growing up as kids. I was born in Seattle, Washington, to a big family. I have a 21 cousin, so. Day Day has always been full of energy, so he's always like been big for his age. Deshaun Hall spent most of his life growing up with his mom while playing basketball and splitting time between the Dallas area and Seattle. I couldn't have asked for a better, more well-mannered young man. He, he didn't give me problems. He just was always there. Miles grew up in Arlington, Texas, with a full house of his own, with two older siblings who challenged his competitive spirit. He's always been a leader by example. You know, it's never, he's never been that, the guy that had to be vocal, especially in our household dynamic. They weren't gonna give you anything. You have to earn it. You're gonna earn a win on the, the basketball court against you know, my dad or my brother. You're gonna, you're gonna earn you know, a game in Scrabble or checkers. He didn't give us any discipline problems. He's not perfect. We, we laugh about that because he one time told me that he was perfect. <laughs> Miles did things his way. Probably the difference with me is I'm a little bit more merciful. I'll let people win. Uh, I don't know. I kind of got tired of getting beat up on, so I, I don't know. I, I have a little bit lighter side. Competition for both Miles and Deshaun began on the hardwood. I played basketball first. Basketball my first love. I think I tried football for like a game. I wanted to play halfback, and they were like, oh, sorry, son, you're kind of too heavy. Probably around middle school, I started playing basketball, and I started having fun. It was, it was even more fun than uh, football. And I'm going, okay, but well, what about football? So he makes a decision to say, well, Mom, I don't think I want to play football anymore. And um, then I moved to Texas for my junior and senior year, and I was mad at my mom because she made me move from Seattle, and I was having a blast. He's like, Mom, you know, I'm on a path. I'm, you know, things are going good. And Seattle's a big basketball town, so that's all I was doing was playing basketball, and I just didn't want to play anymore. But she made me play, and I, and I thank her for letting, making me play. So he came down his junior year. Coach Gilbert at Lancaster opened the door for him. That was really my first Friday Night Lights. It was really fun. It was different. In Seattle, there's not that many people that go to the game, but uh, Friday Night Lights in Texas is ridiculous. Just like Deshaun, Miles' high school football coach told him he had a future. He was like, you know, you have a shot at being, you know, something in this program. I don't know what you, what, you, what you can be, but if you work hard, you, you can be something big. I was like, well, why not give it a shot? Once it clicked into him that this sport was his, and it was like, I mean, it, I mean, it was a, a light switch came on. Two Dallas area talents, now in the college football spotlight at Texas A&M. They were a hit to each other immediately. Miles is cool. Uh, he, you know he's a phenomenal player, probably the best defensive end in the country. And uh, it's all right, he makes my job easier, I make his job easier. That's my brother. I mean, we laugh, we joke, we talk about, you know, you know school and how we're doing, how we're feeling, you know. We turn into friends, and that's what we are, on and off the field, and we show it, you know, how, we're, how we interact with each other and how we, how we play. He's a great friend, too. I, uh, I was out of commission for, with a car for a long time, and Miles came and picked me up every day. And uh, that, that, shows, that shows you that he's just not a phenomenal football player, but he's a phenomenal person. He could be one of the family if, if he really wanted to, and in my heart he is. An SEC matchup looms at Arlington's AT&T Stadium, and it'll feel like homecoming to these two Aggies. 
you know, we try to embrace as many people as we can coming to games. We, I mean, it's home. But it's more so the fact that when he's home and the people that engage him when he's home, that they get to experience the same miles they experienced, you know, when he was a little fella. Just Lancaster is 30 miles away, so having that opportunity to play his final, you know, senior game in a local venue is huge and I know he's gonna represent, and that might just be the added inspiration for him to get, you know, a couple more sacks. <laughs>2 for the Aggies and SEC West play and the first conference game of the season for the Razorbacks. Hey, man, listen up. Hey, listen up. Like they said, this is our house. This ain't no news. This is our house. Any house we go to, this is our house. Let's go. And hey, we some dogs, man. Yeah. We some dogs. We walk, man. And hey, let's go eat tonight, man. Let's go eat. Here we go. Team on three. One, two, three. three. Texas A&M football is brought to you by Pepsi, official soft drink of Texas A&M athletics. They're not ready for the next, but they nervous. They were nervous. I'm ready to eat, Dono. I'm ready to eat. Both teams are hungry knowing what's on their plate in this divisional matchup. Early anxiousness bites the Aggies. A miscue leads to a hog score. In search of a response, A&M gets on the move, but another special teams error keeps them off the scoreboard. Still in search of an answer, the defense steps in. Ball is in the hands of the Aggies. That is Miles Garrett. A handoff that goes to Travion. Good hole. He's across the 45. Third down play. And Knight will keep. Oh, nice hole. He's got a chance to score. 10 5. Touchdown. 42 yards. Trevor Knight. Aggie touchdown. The zone read fake this time on the give. And Trevor takes it untouched right up the middle for the touchdown. That's how to run the football. That's how to run the football. But Arkansas can run it too, and they rip off a gain of their own. They're right where they want to be, first and goal, with a hard-to-stop ground game. And it is first and goal at the Aggie one. Aggies 
making some shifts. The hand off. They're trying to get in. That is not going to happen. It's going to be dropped. Williams again. And once again taken down. Miles Garrett. He is so dynamic. Allen to the end zone. Incomplete. A flag has to be down. And it is. Pass interference. Defense number one. First down. They're going heavy. And they're going with Williams. And he's denied again. How many times do you have to knock on the door before you're in? Up back, Cody Walker turned back. How about this Aggie sprung? Allen's a pass. Pressure. The Aggies slam the door shut. Get up! Nothing will come easy this evening. Effort must be maxed out. Hey, we don't keep playing. We'll play through the Second man in, punch it out. Grab it out, rip it out. Second man in. Knock the damn ball out. First and goal, Williams. Wants the ball. Aggies football. And they are congratulating Armani as he goes to the Aggie bench. The Aggies take the turnover and turn it in to points. It's 10 to 10 after Daniel LaCamera hits from long range. Raleigh Williams then keeps a tight grip and grabs the TD he missed out on earlier. Arkansas up seven again. With halftime closing in, Trevor Knight looks to close the gap. 21 seconds to go. Quarterback drop, here is Knight running. Touch the difference, has a chance, great a tackle, will score! Touchdown, 48 yards, his second TD of the night! The Pulse, Texas A&M football is brought to you by ASCO, your place for case construction equipment in Texas. We've been here before, right? Yes, sir. We've been here before. Expect to win this game. Do your job. Let's go. Nothing more. Do your job. Let's go win. Let's, Let's go. go. Let's go. Let's go. Woo. and Arkansas all knotted up again. Coming out of the break, an all-out effort ensues to bust loose. There's the handoff, goes to Ford, got a first down, 30. Fights for the 34, down at the 34-yard line is Keith Ford. McCoy snaps it, and a throw comes to this side, and that is Reynolds broke a tackle, he's at midfield. Reynolds got his second pass of the night, handoff, Travion, good hole, right side across the 40, first down inside the 40 at the 38-yard line of Arkansas. Now the Aggies are going up tempo now. Plenty of time. Runs out of the pocket, throws to the sideline. Hey, catch, is that a complete ball? They're gonna say yes, it's caught inside the 25 at the 20 yard line. Hand off Trevor, stepping left, stepping right. Now inside the five, dropped at about the one yard line. Down he goes, right back to the line. A hand off, hey, was there a fumble? There was. Aggies just fumbled the ball at the five yard line and I don't know what happened. It was a heavy traffic jam down there. Arkansas marches toward the advantage to keep them from gaining it. The Aggies can't give an inch. At the two yard line, Arkansas, the football, trying to break the tie with 4.48 to go. Hand off. They're gonna get back to the line of scrimmage. They'll stop him at the two. At the line of scrimmage, power backfield. They try to sneak for it. Alan Kevin. They're going to rule him down inside the one yard line. That same formation. Here we go. Looks like the old split tee. And he's not going to make that. Let's go. Let's go. Fourth down coming up. They're going to go for it. Single setback. 
Ocean coming back to this side. The end the round. The Aggies are there. They're there. going to make the stop back outside the five at the seven yard line. Pull up Nick. Pull up Nick. Go freaking school right here. Right here. Hey, we got one day. I wouldn't want to be anywhere else but right here, right now. Look at this, man. We're going to have some fun. Throw it deep. That's Reynolds. He is waiting on it. Caught it. Broke a tackle. He's going to go. He's going to score. 92 yards. Reynolds. <laughs> Touchdown. Texas A&M. The deep ball leads to a little delirium and a lot of dominance for the remainder. First and 10, the Arkansas 33. A&M goes on the ground. Big hole, got to score! A 33-yard run, Texas A&M, Travion Williams! And there is a sack, there is a fumble. A&M is going to fall on it, I believe, at the 15-yard line. Deshaun Hall gets the sack, knocks it loose. Woo! Hey, don't forget, we saw my tissues. Play action, throw, caught. That is Kirk, Kirk. Touchdown! Nine on that one. Christian Kirk. First down and 10, Kirk went in motion. One ball again, that's Travion, 10, five, touchdown! Travion Williams! The Aggies have made a big statement here tonight. Defense was on the field a whole lot tonight, but it didn't seem to matter to you guys. No, we love being on the field. We embrace it. Uh, all year, people have been saying our defense like tissue, so there's a chip on our shoulder. So we remember that every snap we go out there. A rigid message after a rugged performance. The clock struck midnight in Arlington, but not on the Aggies' undefeated record. Great job, guys. That's a complete team win. We weren't perfect, right? We weren't perfect, but guys picked it up another earth. That's what a team does, a really good team. You beat a good football team tonight. Okay, but there's still a lot of things we can do better, right? A hell of a lot. We still have played our best football. You guys kept playing and stuck together. Stuck together. But people still don't believe in you. This game has typically taken a lot out of us physically. And we got back here. We didn't have we hours of the morning, guys are limping in here, and, and we've got to make sure we understand what it takes now to keep going. You know, South Carolina's a, got a great coaching staff, and you know it's a great place to play too. So, you know, going on the road there, it's our furthest uh, road trip. You know, we got to handle all that, and, and I like where this team is from a maturity standpoint. You know, how they're handling things, and, and this will be another test for us mentally and physically.